go ahead and put this away, and we will get started with the build. But first, I want to show you, essentially, what you have done. And you don't need any more tools. All you're going to need now is just your CD and your cup and your pieces. So, let me just real quickly show you what you've done. Now, if you put the core in, it fits, and it does not wobble. In fact, in this case, it wobbles hardly any. So I probably went a little bit over, which is absolutely fine. The less it wobbles, the better. So, um, you might do, you probably will want to go actually a little bit over the chrome if you want, or the shiny part, whatever it's called. And that'll do it. So I'm going to go ahead and organize out my, all my pieces, and we will begin. Actually, before I go ahead and uh, organize my pieces, I'm going to really quickly introduce you to the pieces. So that way you will know what all of your piece, all what everything will look like, I guess, and all that such. So, this piece here is a uh, center edge piece. The reason why either the how you can tell this apart from all the other center pieces is because the tail, if you look at it, is actually on the edge like that. So, if you look at it from like this, the tail is on the edge. Call this p extension here the tail, so that way you're not confused. And again, there it is just from a few different views, angles, I guess. Ah! From a few different angles. Top from the bottom. Okay, moving on. This is the next center piece you will encounter. This is a center corner piece. And the way you can tell it apart from all the other center pieces is obviously because the tail is on the corner. And again, it looks like this from the top, this from the side. Give you a little 360. And from the bottom. And from the top. Yeah. Okay. Now, moving on. This here is called a wing piece. And... Uh, actually, I should have probably introduced you to the edge piece first, but the edge piece is this piece. The edge piece is basically is just looks like this. You should be able to find this piece quite easily. And, uh, essentially, the wing piece is, um, the piece that goes here. So, there are two of each kinds of these pieces. So, if I only got the matching colors... I could show you what their purpose was, but you should be with, with common sense, actually. Um, you should be able to tell. If Okay, so again, this is what it looks like. It is a little bit like there's a top there. There's a little bit of 360 for you. Yeah, so basically that. And there's two of each of these, which means there's another one of these, but it is basically just a mirror version as the tail is on the left when it looks like this. Okay, moving on. This is the final piece, this is the corner. This is the only piece, actually, that has three pieces on it, or three stickers on it, so you should be able to find it quite easily. But it looks like this, and it's essentially got this gigantic tail, or just this really long, weird-looking tail. Okay, so, now let's go ahead and reorganize, and here we are. All of my piles have been organized out. Over here, we have the center edge pile, and there's the corner, the center corner pile. Here we have the wing pile, and there is the um, edge pile, and here is the corner pile. And really quickly, because uh, I don't have that much time left on my memory card, only like 24 minutes left. Uh, if you want to further organize these, what you could do is just organize out all of the colors in the center pieces. So like you'd make a yellow pile and a blue pile and whatever for all of them. And as for these, you're probably going to want to organize them in pairs, and you're probably going to want to... It's probably going to want to organize them out so that way the blue pairs and the green pairs are separate and the other pairs are separate from the blue and green pairs. And same thing goes for the edges. You want to separate all the blue ones from the green ones and uh, same goes for the corners. I, however, am not going to do that. That takes way too much time to actually do. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use this and I will look for all the pieces in a cut in between each scene. And, um, speaking of cuts, do mind that I am bleeding. Uh, I, I had peeling skin and my finger rubbed, and it rubbed against the carpet and did all, did what it needed to do. So, yeah, uh, I don't want to go get a band-aid because I don't find it necessary. Plus, uh, the bleeding is supposed to stop. Anyway, that does not matter. 
So, as you can see here, I've got the blue centerpiece on the top. That is what yours should, yours should look like, uh, unless if you don't want to do that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, however, this is the way I'm going to do it, and uh, if you did the organization like I told you, you're going to want to do this. So, let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take all of the uh, edge pieces, these things that do not have blue or green in them. So, uh, let me get those real quick. These right here, you should have four of them. And speaking of the numbers, uh, I forgot to tell you this, but you should have, let's see, what's six times four? Like, six, twelve, eight, eight. You should have 24 of center edge pieces, and you should have 24 center corner pieces. You should have six times two, twelve, no, 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 scratch that. Twelve times two, I think. Yeah, twelve times two would be, you should have 24 wing pieces, and you should have 12 edge pieces, and you should have eight corner pieces. So I'm just letting you know those. So, uh, again, you're going to want to get out the edge pieces without the blue or green in them. And you're going to want to get out the center edge pieces without blue or green in them. You're going to want to get two of each. So, uh, I am pulling them out really quickly right now, so I don't really see why I should cut. However, I will anyway. Okay, and so, I've got all of them, I think, yeah. And what you're going to want to do is this. You're going to take an edge piece like this, and you're going to take a center edge piece with one of the colors and match it up. And then you're going to take the other colors of the center edge piece and put that next to it. And you're going to essentially have it look like this. And, uh, yeah. And you're probably noticing right now, if you know how to uh, reassemble an Isheen 4x4, you really don't need this tutorial because it's actually the exact same thing. Uh, because these represent what I called the B pieces, and these represent what I called the C pieces, and these edge pieces here represent what I called the A pieces. So if you want, you can all just go check out that tutorial if you want to. Uh, I do kind of recommend, though, that if you have never reassembled an Ishin 4x4, or if you've never reassembled anything Ishin, you should probably watch this tutorial, as uh, it is just a good idea, because... Uh, yeah, you can't just figure it out by yourself. Well, whoops, I put this on the wrong side. Darn. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quickly, and I'll be back. May I quickly add that it is very important not to apply pressure if the pieces will not go in uh, as easily as you want them to, I guess, or as nicely as you want them to, or if, they just, or if you're just having a hard time getting them in. Do try not to apply pressure. That is how I cracked my previous CD. So, yeah. And uh, for some reason, I found that as a good opportunity. Like right here, I, I need to kind of apply pressure. And uh, I'm not being able to do that because, well, I don't want to crack the CD. So, I'm just going to do it gently as possible. There. So, like, you know, just try and do it as gently as possible. But it went back to what I was saying. Uh, that is how I... I cracked my last CD by applying too much pressure, and, um, yeah, so, whoa, I swear, this is so confusing, man, I hate the pink, it looks so much like the red, anyway, so yeah, just try not to apply too much pressure, and you should be good, uh, I will not try and make any more comments in this video, uh, or at least as much as I am right now, because it is making it longer and longer and longer, but I'm just letting you know in advance. There. So, now it's time to do the uh, next layer. And you go ahead and leave these by out by next to you or something, just so, because you're going to need to use them, actually. You're going to actually need to use some of them here, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and explain, get the pieces that you're going to need, and I will be back. Alright, I've got all the pieces, but apparently they are, uh, you can't really see them all, but, um, you're going to want to get out one of each, we're going to want to get out one of each color besides blue and green, and edge piece, uh, center edge pieces, excuse me. You're going to want to get out all eight of your wing pieces that don't have blue or green in them, and you're going to want to get out all of your piece, all of your center corner pieces that are not blue and green. Okay, so, what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to take a wing piece. And what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to orient it correctly, like this. 
Let me zoom in a little bit.